Hi, I'm the Woodpecker today. I'm building a brand new outdoor shower. Three years ago, I took you along for a visit to my cottage. Ah, uh, time goes by so quickly, it's incredible. Back then, my outdoor shower was in good shape. I can even say that it was not that bad. But today, it's another story. The structure is all crooked and it's leaning backward. Last year, the door fell to the ground. Here, we can clearly see that the base is all rotten and it's not holding anything. It's time to make a new one. The first thing I do is to go to my mother's house and get some metal angles for the base. And while I was there, I couldn't resist bringing an apple tree home. I cut the iron angle at the length of my base. Drill some holes so I'll be able to screw the shower to it. Clean the metal. All this so I can weld it into the shower base. I'm not really good at welding, but I don't need to be for the purpose of this base. It just has to stay in place. When I'm done welding the base, I clean the oil with mineral spirits and spray two coats of metal paint directly over the rust. Then I'm able to pile all the wood I need and the bangs on my pickup and up we go on our June vacation. But before we can bring all this to the cottage, we need to transfer everything to my little boat. Then at the cottage, we have to move everything again. After a little rest, we can dismantle the shower. After we finished dismantling it, I realized that I had welded the base on the wrong side. So I get the axe and cut one angle. I told you my welding skills are not that great. Lucky for me, because of that I was able to break the rest. Now I can dig a little around the old shower. And make the form. Here it is in place. Now I have to pound the metal base in place. When I'm done, I can make some concrete and fill the new shower base. When it's full, I check if the iron angle are level and flatten the top. A couple of days later, I remove the form and backfill around the base. Now we just have to wait until our next vacation to finish the job. Believe it or not, for my July vacation, we had one viewer who came directly from France. 
And since Philip renovates the factory he bought just beside Toulouse all by himself, I knew I had a golden opportunity to use and abuse him to get some help to finish my shower. So I start by drawing another elaborate plan so Philip can understand my new shower concept. So we start by cutting the first rail. I make a rabbit and cut a dovetail on the end of the first one. Then I trace an offset of 5 16th around the dovetail on a scrap piece of plywood. Since I'm using a 3 8 router bit and a 1 inch collet, I end up with a 5 16th offset. When the dovetail shape is cut, I can screw a cleat at the back and use it to cut the mortises. While I do that, Philip makes the rest of the rings. Next, he removes the inch on the back of each dovetail. While he does that, René and I cut all the pieces for the top of the shower. The aflat is finished with the router. I didn't want to be bothered by René at be dug. So we ask Alm, Philip's daughter, to keep the mud out of our air. The next day, we fine tune the mortises I made. Using the router plane, Philip makes sure that all the bottoms are at the right depth. Finally, we're ready to glue the shower. We start by gluing and screwing both sides. Because of the back of the tenons, we need to remove a small part from the back rings. Now we're ready to install it. I make sure that everything is leveled, then I screw it in place. Then it's time to glue and screw the back rings. And the top of the shower. Finally, all the structure is in place. Not bad, but it's not over yet. We need to transform this pile of wood into the shower's walls. While René and Philippe route around over on top of the planks, I cut them to the right length.
then we screw them in place. Wow, this took less time than I was expected. But I need to cut some planks. Make them narrower. Plank them straight and round their edges. Then we screw them in place, just like the others. We also need to screw to my phones to hold the water bucket. and put it in place. Next, I can install the small things that makes this an outdoor shower. Then, we can build the door. and put it in place. <sighs> I'm unable to put the finish on the shower because it rained too much after its installation. I'll take care of that later this fall. But at least for now, my guests can take a nut shower. I'm such a good host. Thanks for watching and come back again for my next episode of The Woodpecker. <laughs>